This is Josh with Clean Pro Exteriors. I just want to take a minute to show you how to drain the oil out of your pump. This is a cat pump. It's a 4,000 psi, four gallon a minute pump. Um, this is uh, with the cat company and when you have a pump like this, they recommend that you change your oil the very first time you ever use it, you need to change your oil after 50 hours of use. After that, you change your oil every 500 hours of use. And that was recommended by the cat pump specialist that I spoke with. That's if you're using the cat pump oil that they sell. If you're using an alternative, you're going to want to change it uh, every 300 hours. What you're going to be using is a ISO 68 30 weight non detergent pump oil. Cat Pump sells that, but if you're going to use an alternative, make sure it fits those specifications. The way you change your oil is pretty simple. You just want to make sure you have something to drain it into. This is too small. I just put this here just for the video. Um, you're going to want to use something bigger. But Cat makes an attachment that you can screw into the bottom of your pump and it's it's an oil draining kit. You can call them, you can order that. If you don't have a Cat pump, I'm sure that you can uh, call that company and get it from them, uh, a, an oil draining kit. Uh, and if you have a different pump, make sure that you check with their specifications as far as what kind of oil to use and how often you should change your oil. Uh, but with the Cat pump, uh, what you do is you, there should be a nut right under there. You just unscrew it. The oil will drain out. And then, you know, I tip my pressure washer a little bit to make sure that all the oil is out. But I've already drained this, so this is good to go. Then all you do is you just screw this back in. Make sure it's good and snug. And also, there is a, underneath this, if I was to unscrew it again, there is an O-ring right there on, on the nut. You want to make sure that O-ring is, is good. Uh, if there's any oil leaking, then you can just change that O-ring and it should stop the leaking. All right, now that you got that good and snug, you're going to want to undo the top. This particular pump takes, uh, I believe it's 13 ounces of oil. Check with your company and with your specific comp, I mean, uh, pump company to make sure of how much oil to put in your pump but essentially it'll be about halfway uh, over this red dot it'll just be just above that red dot right there um, pretty simple you just take this put yourself a little thing there and then you just take and pour the oil in I'm not going to do it right now but that's all you do fill it up to where the requirement is and then make sure your all your seals are good as you can see there if all that's good you screw this back in and you're ready to go